Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sidetrack bringing you a very quick block spotlight. Now today we are talking about a new block from Tinker's Construct. It's called the Casting Channel and it works just like every other block. You right click and it will lay down and connect to itself. Essentially it works a lot like a pipe um, and its intended purpose is to transfer liquids from one place to another. Now as its name implied is implying uh, it is primarily used in casting so you will say set up your casting tables like this with in this case I'm using um, the ingot cast but it works with all of them um, you'd also will work with the casting basins it just takes a little while to fill up um, and it pulls out just like the faucet it will pull out liquid from your smeltery drain and send it through the pipes and dump it onto your casting table now as you would expect, this iron is turning into iron ingots. It's being sent through these hoppers and funneled into this chest. So, nice way to make a lot of iron fairly quickly, or any metal fairly quickly. Um, other interesting things to note about this block is that you can have liquid fall from a height, um, provided there is a casting channel in each block, and it looks kind of cool to see falling liquid might be able to come up with some interesting design ideas there. Um, the other interesting thing about this is you can go ahead and connect this from one smeltery to another smeltery. And you will see in a minute that molten metal will slowly start to fun funnel through this casting channel and into this smeltery. Now a lot of you are thinking to yourself, why would I want to take metal from one smeltery, liquid form, straight to another? Well, then you realize that in the smeltery, it's the only place you can mix metals. So if I were to take a look at this liquid gold, get that flowing, and this liquid silver, now I have thermal expansion installed, so both of these will flow, and shut up dog, into our drains. And you will see that in the smeltery, they're making electrum which is very nice if you have thermal expansion. If you don't have thermal expansion, obviously you won't be making electro, but there are other blends you can make. Um, now, it's, it's also important to note that liquid will continue to flow through the casting channel until all of the liquid is drained out of your smeltery or whatever storage device. In this case, these two glass, um, seared glass blocks will continue to drain until they're empty. So it's nice you don't have to set up any kind of a redstone circuit to get liquid to continually flow. Now there are a couple of bugs with this. Um, for example, I noticed that on either side of here, you get the animation that liquid is flowing in here, but you don't actually develop any ingots. Not quite sure what's up with that, because on this side, this one is working perfectly fine. Although I did manage to break it a little while ago, and I fixed it just by sheer accident. So a little buggy, um, and stuff doesn't flow the quickest through here. As you can see, it you know slowly trickles its way into this smeltery. Um, personally, I really like uh, thermal expansion liquid ducts, and you can use those to input and output things out of the drains, just like you could with these, but I also imagine that since these are a new block, they will only get better with time, as does everything in thermal expansion. So, in case you're ever needing to you know, know what the heck a casting channel is, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, so please let me know um, in the chats below if there's something I didn't make sense on, or you thought it was really stupid, or thought it was really great. And also give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I hope you guys enjoy playing with Tinker's Construct. Have a very good day, folks.